Hi guys, it's me and I'm coming with a little video and no this is not a tutorial it's just a video showing me doing my nails because I am not qualified to tutorial anything and so I just decided that I was going to um, do a video showing me I've done part of one hand I haven't finished but I'm going to work on this hand right here and I decided I was just going to video it so let's get started I'm going to do a little d um something a little bit different and well I've already got some acrylic on my nail and I'm going to put some more on And I did decide that I was going to use my alpha brush that I, I have so many brushes. Like I said, if you'll go back, 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 <laughs> some videos, you can see um, some of my uh, brushes. And I've got a few more since then. So, and no, most of you know I'm not professional. So, be careful with criticism because I am not claiming to be a professional, but I'm just doing the way that I do. Okay, and I'm hoping that this does not come out all fuzzy. But if it, oh, I've done that one, sorry. Got to do this one. And I decided this time I was going to do, um, my nails in coffin they're supposed to be coffin shape well whatever shape they come out oh, who knows I tend to start out one way but things don't always end up the way we start out or way we plan so you know it is what it is And I'm glad I'm able to use this camera because I have such a hard time using my um, cell phone camera and staying in frame. And with the setup with this camera, it's a little bit easier to stay in frame. The way I've got it set up. And I know that some of these are a little lumpy, but I will take care of that on the filing end. And I also like my nails a little on a thicker side. I'm hoping that you're able to see this. Last night, I started doing my nails. 
and I got tired. It got dark. And I didn't feel like finishing them last night. So I said, well, I'll finish them today. And so I said, well, maybe I'll get a chance to videotape. I wasn't sure if I was going to get a chance to tape it, film it. But hopefully everything comes out fine. Usually when I do my nails, I usually do them over a two-day period. Sometimes I do them the same day. If I have time to do them the same day, I'll do them. But if I don't, then that's the good thing about being able to do your own nails. You can do them at your own leisure. You can't do them all at one time. You can do them the next day. Finish them up the next day. And I like this angle. I'm able to stay in frame really well. That's why I really never do videos of me doing my nails because it's so difficult to stay in frame. Okay, going to let that dry and I'll be back. Okay, uh, now I have started filing on some of my nails. I started the filing process and uh, this is my file, the Beauty Secrets. I think I got it upside down. Beauty Secrets, the banana file. And I just want to show you this, that this is the brush that I'm using, my Alpha 10. I've only used this brush one other time because, like I said, I have so many brushes that I very seldom get a chance to um, use. So I every chance I get when I do different sets of nails. I go around and I um, try to use different brushes. Okay, now I'm on this nail right here. If you can see. And I'm just filing up the sides. And I did not make these nails super thick, so they don't require a lot of filing. Some did, but then, you know, some were, like this one was a little bit easier to do. And I just didn't want um, to just be on here filing my nail, but I just want to show a little clip of me doing that part of my nails. And I'm 
I'm going to take a um, pause break and I will be back when I am in the process of getting ready to polish the nails. All right, I will be back. Okay, now I'm back. And let me move this out of the way. I am, um, I've already got everything filed down the way I want it right now. And I want to use some alcohol. Let me see, I've got to do one more thing. Okay, I'm not in the normal place where I usually do my nails, so I'm having to move around and get stuff. But I'm going to spray my nails with alcohol. And just wipe them down to clean them off. And then I'm going to put some cuticle oil on my nails. This is the Mia Secret Jasmine. Let me show it to you. Mia Secret. And it's in the Jasmine. Let's see if I can show you that. I don't know. I'm thinking this thing is showing stuff upside down. I'm not sure. And so I'm going to do my cuticle oil. And then I know that's not clear. I'm going to wash my hands. And then we'll get down to the polishing. Believe me, my hands will look a lot better once I am through. All right, next. Okay, now, what I plan to do with this nail is I'm going to bling this nail out. And I'm going to bling out this one also. But I'm going to polish some of the rest of them with gel polish and let's see if I am correct I have the Elite 99 and I don't know if you can see I don't think you can see that color but it's like a bluish color. Very, very pretty. Very pretty blue. And I think on, let me see. Well, I've got this color too. And it is very, see how that is a pretty color. And I really want to do a whole nail in that color. I think I'm going to do one in this color too. I don't know. I'm going to kind of play around with it a little bit. But anyway, uh, let me see. Do I want to do a base? Maybe, 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 yeah, maybe no. I don't know. Hold on. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to do a base on most of these. I don't have to because they're artificial nails. Um, I don't have to, but I think that the polish goes on a lot smoother. 
when I do a base. So, let's see if I can. And this is a gel. So I will be curing this in my LED. I have two new lamps um, that I've ordered that I am really waiting for them to come in. I don't know. I'm hoping I'm staying in frame, you guys. That's pretty much why I've got this set up this way. Okay, maybe I need to move over a little bit. There we go. I hope I don't mind. I hate out of frame. And a lot of times it's just so difficult when you're videotaping, you're filming yourself to stay in frame. Yeah, see. Okay. Now, let me nuke them. Okay. Well, now I've done that. I did not do my thumb because I always do my thumbs last. And this finger turned a little. But I'm going to cover that so I don't care. Okay. Let's see what I can do with this. Do I like an ombre? That one, then I'm going to do my middle finger. I'm going to do that whole nail with this color. And to be honest with you, I don't think that I have ever used this color at all. And it seems to be a very beautiful color. And these will be my birthday nails. because my birthday is Sunday, which is the 24th of December. Okay, let's go back to this one. Out of all the blue polishes that I've ordered, the gel polishes and everything, 
I've never used any. This is my first time using any gel polishes. Okay, I'm going to put those in and I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to do a second coat. Might as well just go ahead and do this one. And then I will go back to this one. Man, that is a beautiful color. Wow, that's gorgeous. Gonna nuke them. And I'll be back. Okay. Now I'm going to get ready and go ahead and see if I can't do um, my bling nail. I'm gonna go ahead and use this gel polish this glitter polish on this nail that way just in case any of the um, any spaces in between the glitter what is going on there? Let me tell you what I'm gonna mark that off right back there. See if that'll okay. All right. Let me get situated here. For this nail, I've done this, and what I'm doing is I am putting. Let me show you what I'm gonna. I'm doing. I'm putting the, I don't know if you can see that. Hold on, I'll tell you what. Let's see if I can. Oh no, can't see it all. If I do that, it's a glare on there. But this is gel play. You can't see it if I put it up there. I don't know if you can see it. Gel play is by accents. Bling on. It's called gel play bling on by accents. And I'm putting a coat of this, one layer of this, on the nail. All right, got a coat of that on there. Let me cover this back, close this back up because I definitely do not want this to be anywhere. Well, I'm not going to cure that layer. I'm not going to cure that. And I'm going to put a layer of, oh no, that's not. I have got too much stuff around here. Let's 
sorry, I have to be doing this. I know you can hear me on the camera, but I'm going to use my Born Pretty um, No White Top Coat. And I'm going to put that on. But first, I've got to get my crystals together. And I should have gotten a thing. Oh, well. know how I'm going to do this. I need a little container to put these in, but what I'm going to do is I am going to probably sit it on, lay these, lay these out on top of here. And I'm going to use some of these. Oh, don't let me knock these over. And I'm also going to use some of these. So, I'm going to be working with both of these. And I know this is going to be a super long video. <laughs> but I'm trying not to make it long because I'm not recording a lot of it. But after this, after I do some of these, I am going to pause it. And then the next time when I come back, it will be... And I'm putting this top coat on top of the bling on because this helps seal these crystals in very well when you cure them in the um in the lamp. So I put a coat of that on. And let me show you what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my pick me up tool. And it has a little stuff on the top to stick. I don't know how well this works. I have only used it one other time. I think it did pretty okay. But oh well. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay. I'm going to put a rhinestone right there. See, the only thing is when this sticks, it sticks the rhinestone to it and it will not pop back off. So, I'm going to have to find a, another way to try and do this. Let me see if I can get that off of there. And see if I can't try this from a better way and see if it'll stick to the nail. Okay, there we go. It may have had a little bit too much. But see, some of these will not stick because it won't let them go. And I know a lot of people use the Crystal Cortana. But I decide I want to try to use this and I don't want it too far back on my nail near the cuticle. But I'm going to, oh great, like I can afford to see if I can do a different one. And see, this is the part that tends to make the video long. And so I'm going to go around this nail with these crystals and I'm going to do this and I'll be back with the finished product because I'm not going to prolong this video anymore. Be back. Okay, guys, I am finally back. And I was debating on whether I would finish this video tonight or I was going to do a part two and show you tomorrow and I still might do that but BAM here are the nails these are the finished product of the nails 
I'm probably still going to do another video tomorrow to let you see the, maybe hopefully the color will come through where you can really see it. It got dark on me. Putting all this bling on these nails <laughs> took time to do. And so hopefully, I don't know how much of this you can see. Something stuck on that one. But anyway, these are the thumbs. No, you can't really see the coloring. I may just do another video on my cell phone because maybe you can see it a little bit better on there. But this is the end of this. I'm so sorry that this is such a long video. But oh well, these are the nails. All right, guys. That's it. Bye-bye. See you next time.